welcome students to the chapter halo alkanes and halo arenes and uh, in the last part we were discussing about the preparation of halo alkanes and halo arenes and we can see that for the preparation there are three main steps first one is the substitution reaction that is from hydrocarbons so in that uh, in the hydrocarbon one h will be substituted by x so you get uh, halo alkanes from alkanes then aromatic ring from arenes that is aromatic ring h is substituted by x so both from alkanes and arenes i can uh, by the substitution reaction i can synthesize halo alkanes and halo arenes respectively another hydrocarbon is alkenes so these are also alkenes are also hydrocarbons however i have, I have classified them as separately uh, just to recollect it faster so alkenes are also hydrocarbons but uh, we are treating it uh, uh, it as two separate reactions uh, in order to fast in order to have a faster recollection of the uh, methods so i have alkenes here addition reaction will break this double bond and add h onto one carbon and x onto the other carbon or double bond is broken and x will be added to uh, both the carbons clear so this in this case if it is h and x then it is halo alkanes if it is both x that is getting uh, added then it is called a poly halo alkanes because because we have more than one halogen atom clear in the case of alkenes in the case of namak endundavilla arenes cannot be used for this type of addition reactions it can be used but not in this method so when you are studying alkenes it involves only the production of halo alkenes synthesis of halo alkenes now another one is from alcohols this is what we have seen in the last class how to synthesize halo alkenes from alcohols its substitution reaction and we have seen various methods to generate chloro alkenes bromo alkenes and and um, iodo alkenes and phenols converting to halo arenes we will not see that in this chapter we will see this in the in the in the coming uh, chapter when we are studying alcohols and phenols we will study the reaction there clear so we will not deal with this in this chapter so before moving on to so we have already discussed alcohols the alcohols in the bagam completed we have completed with alcohols so next what we will see is hydrocarbons so before moving to hydrocarbons we will have some look into some of the some of the questions that is based on alcohols so quick questions based on alcohols so it will be easy for you to recollect what you have learned in the previous nammal kaniya class le padichu karyangal onnu recollect cheyan vendittu we will make a quick look into some of the questions so as i said before whenever you are studying organic chemistry or whenever you are listening to organic chemistry you just try to have some paper and pen with you or pen and paper um kaiyil vekkam it's always nice you write the reactions whenever you see them in the class or uh, when you are learning it by your own always try to have a paper and pen with you so the first question is to convert ethanol into iodo ethane iodo ethane ethanol so this is famous compound but how did we get its name so it's a two carbon compound two carbon compounds are generally called its hydrocarbon is named as ethane and if if uh, alcohol is the functional group so oh group is called alcohol alcohol is the functional group what you have to do is you have to replace replace so e h a e n replace e with all so uh, all of alcohol so you replace this last letter e with all so we have ethanol into iodo ethane so this is the question we have learned how to uh, substitute oh with iodine isn't it so we have learned it how to do it this is the reaction 
ethanol when treated with potassium iodide or sodium iodide both can be used you will with the uh, with the help of 95 percentage of orthophosphoric acid and we have learned why we can't use h2so4 here so we, if you are using 95 percentage h uh, 3po4 or orthophosphoric acid what you will get the main product is that iodine iodoethane which is formed by the substitution of this oh group and this oh group will combine with h in this compound that you get h2o and k will be taken that position that is k h2 po4 so it is important to write the main products it is not that important that you should remember this but sometimes they may specifically ask for this byproduct so in that case you must know it clear but if they are just asking for a conversion like this you just have to give the main product main product matram eldiyamadi clear next next question which among the following will give uh, the uh, products faster on treatment with 48 percentage hbr so when we were using 48 percentage hbr we were using for the substitution of oh into br so here it is oh to i isn't it oh to i but if you want to substitute with br what i can use one method is for using 48 percentage hbr acid so they have given three compounds which will form the faster product and what is the main product formed in the reaction so we have three alcohols here this is ethanol and this is uh, a secondary ethanol and this is a, a, a tertiary ethanol so we will see which will so tertiary means it is attached to a tertiary carbon atom secondary means it is attached to a secondary carbon atom and this is a primary alcohol because OH is attached to primary carbon atom clear so this is uh, um, so propanol propanol and you have secondary and you have tertiary so if you are drawing the structure of these compounds it will be like this this is clear and if i am drawing this it will be like this ch3 ch3 ch oh clear and the last one if i am drawing this it will be like this so we have ch3 here we have ch3 here we have ch3 here and we have oh which means that this is sec this is primary this is secondary or this one secondary and this is tertiary alcohol like halo alkanes alcohols can be classified as primary secondary and tertiary based on the carbon atom to which the OH is attached. A the carbon mechano OH attached the other a carbon degree no kit you can classify based on the degree of carbon onto which this OH is attached, you can classify alcohols. This is primary, this is secondary, and this is tertiary carbon atom. And we have learned in the previous um, the previous part that which alcohol will undergo the reaction faster? It is the tertiary alcohol. We have learned that in the previous part. So it is the tertiary alcohol. So for sure, this will give the faster. So this tertiary alcohol will give the faster product. And what is the product? The product is that the, the tertiary alcohol 48% will give substituted bromine. Clear. So that's all the, for this question.